Woo, guys, it is coming a hurricane nader. Seriously, it is really hurricane. It's the same news. You know what's going on. But never fear, Snap On Thursday is here. Let's do it. Probably thought I was kidding when I said it's coming a hurricane up there, but uh, <laughs> it literally is coming a hurricane. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, as I drive, it'll be pouring rain, and when I get stopped, it stops raining, and then as soon as I get back on the road, it starts raining again. Yep. Is, I was really hoping I was staying in front of it, and <laughs> uh, I think it's done caught up with me. Well, how's Snap On Life been treating you this week? I'm oh, good, very good actually. I've sold two boxes, a scan tool, an AC machine, a roll cart. Man, it, it's it's it is. Man, I set boy. I I'm set some you've goals. Done that good this week. We went and ate lunch today. Hey, I tell you what, <laughs> we still got time. Uh, yeah, oh. I, I set some goals for the week, and because uh, goals are sort of what drive me. So oh yeah. I yeah. tried to hit them, and so far I have. I, I would have liked to download this red box but the guy that was gonna buy it he's still in a roll cart so he's he's gonna wait till he pays off the roll cart and then, yeah, that's then we'll smart. address the situation later no big deal because I, I have a few guys that are looking at it so yeah it is raining isn't yeah, it yeah it's bad <laughs> well uh, you yeah. got some new color uh yes i got the torches, torches going on. came in with the high high pressure wash oh yeah got those in that's I, pretty cool. <clears throat> I did get in the new rack. I, I spent all weekend, well, all day Sunday, just rearranging everything, getting everything set back up. Oh. And then you sell some, like, I didn't, well, I guess last week yeah. I was opening up the drawer, yeah, so yeah, you saw that, how that full that box the box was. <laughs> so, and it was full of jerky and man, licorice. And... Yeah, I got 100 pounds of jerky and cold packs back there right now. <laughs> uh, well, that yeah. rack looks really good. I'm not. Did I have my hats? I did get in. I got the resto. Yeah. Got in the red one. Oh, that one's cool looking. I like that. And then also for the ladies, I got the pink and blue one back there. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Kind of an '80s. Yeah, that one has been popular. Retro looking vibe. Pretty neat. I want to right. check this rack out. That looks really good. Oh yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. That's a lot of damn work. People don't realize to have oh, a yeah. tool truck in it. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I really did not realize how much work it was. <laughs> <laughs> that it looks is. good up there too. The way you got all that displayed up, all the different colors. It was trial and error, and then finally, I I, I hope what I have is set, but. I did buy a way to display my torque wrenches a little bit better. It's going to go on the slide outs there. Okay. And uh, in this part here. Cool. So it, it'll be rearranged, but I mean, it, as long that was, I like for the truck to look different every week. Well, my granddaughter absolutely loved the little salt sloth. I Thank you for the video. Sent you uh, video. That, is, that was so cute. She, uh, uh, <laughs> She lost her little mind when she seen that. So yeah. She thought that was cool. Of course, she's too little to know even what Snap On is, but you uh, know, it was cool still to yeah, see it her is. reaction to that. Yes, yes. It made, it made my day. It, <laughs> it came in right, right on time that, that night. I didn't even know this was a possibility. The adjustable? A Snap On adjustable. Oh, range. yes. And there's a lot less slip in the jaw. Oh, it is tight too. Like you can oh, feel yeah. it when you screw it there. That's that's nice. My personal experience on the cheaper ones, that lower jaw gives a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, that wobble. And, oh man, wear yeah. your knuckles out on something, cuts and everything else. I didn't even know that was a that was a thing there. Oh yeah, learn something every day. Uh, they run it on the. I sold the larger set, but they do run it with a rubber handle also. That one's really nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yes, sir. And then they do run that in a thin, like they'll make it even thinner than that. Mm -hmm. Run it, man. 
that's the one that I've been struggling to get in. I've had it on order for some of my tractor guys for a while, and it still has yet to come in. That's a breaker bar right there, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I did all my moves. that, you've had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it's about like I got the pry bar for a customer, yep. and they, they actually broke the handle on the other one. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what they were pulling on, but they, they're doing some work for sure. There ain't no telling how much weight is just on the ceilings in these <laughs> trucks, you know? Because I don't know if you guys can see all that. The whole entire top. I got a lot of openings of right now. Truck. But that is nuts. Big half inch ratchets back here. T handles. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So what new you got this week? Well, believe it or not, a lot of it is sold. But mostly the torches. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think last week, did I have the half inch yeah. stumpies? That was, yeah. Than that, man, most of it has. So, what's been sold. your best selling color out of all of that so far? Dark titanium. It, it's really split dark titanium and high vis. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a guy, he bought the entire, he bought the long neck ratchet, the short ratchet, uh, he got the 3 8 gun, and I want to say he got, got the 3 8 18 volt and then got the 14.4. Right. That little 14.4 is the best. It amazes me how powerful it is. Ever. Like, I don't have the brushless version, but I've got several of the CT761, which yes. is the brush version. But, man, that trigger, I love that trigger that they put on those. It's a time saver. Yep. Very good quality guns. Time so saver. what's the deal? We just don't have enough Alabama fans for you to sell the... <laughs> That's what er box, everybody's or? been saying, put an A on it. That's why I was telling the guy, and he's like, well, I don't want it with an A on it. And I said, well, I'll put whatever you want on yeah. there. Stick an MSU, get you some gray yeah, that and throw too, on there. That would definitely work. There's some Mississippi State stuff. Yeah, that box, I, I thought, I really didn't have anybody in mind when I put it on the truck. It, it was... <clears throat> Usually uh, I have somebody in mind when, when I put a product on the truck, like I know that's that's where this is gonna go. Right. And then with that one, it's, it's sort of been a free for all. Everybody gets on, everybody loves it. I'm just, I'm feeling it out right now. Yeah. Well, once I get to the point where someone shows enough interest, then, then we'll start talking numbers. See, down here in the world of the SEC, <laughs> like if you're an Ole Miss fan, you absolutely, Gotta 100 percent hate that color. Like, <laughs> if that box was sixty bucks, you still want to get. You it. would have to wrap it to sell it to <laughs> Ole Miss, you know. And then the same way it goes. Like if you had a red or a blue box, all yes, your sir. state, and your Bama, and your Texas A&M guys would want it, you know. Well, that's what I got with that dark blue box I had on here. Everybody was like, "Well, Florida fans, uh, mm -hmm. they'd like it," but that's about it. It's and always hit or miss on the colors. Yep, sure is. Our old, the very first snap-on guy that we had that run this area, he had nothing but red. That's it. Like, red, 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 red. Every now and then you see a little black, but it was mostly just the, the old school snap-on red. And yes, this sir. was back in the 90s, you know, like 93, 4, 5 era. And um, we got a newer dealer that was, the guy was, a, you know, he was about my age. and. I remember he had a green box, blue box. Yeah. Like nobody knew those colors were even an option, you know. And then they started having the different color handles oh, yeah. later on, you know, and it was just like people went nuts over that. But yeah, we can change, they can change out the drawers now if you want different color drawers. The yep. trim can be different colors. And, and then they got several options like the wood top, stainless steel mm -hmm. top, rhino top, I mean, we'll power do top. You want. So what, uh, have you seen the boxes? It's got the lights that's kind of built in under that's the epic. lip. That's, that's why I have really, one of those personally. I got the 84 really inch. Good. Yes, it's yeah. a beautiful box. They got some that got the RGB where they change colors. That mm -hmm. The first box I had on the truck was the 84 inch. It was a blue epic black trim. Right. It was the limited 
so it did have color changing lights on it and i made two stops wow and the guy guy got on the truck he said well that's a toyota i was like that's a weekly payment I was like, he told me his budget and i said well if i can get it in your budget and take it off the truck about what this guy the guy yeah. that bought the green envy well, tell me what you, what your budget is and I'll, I'll i'll put you in there and sure enough i got him down to the numbers and he's like man i can't believe you did that he's <laughs> like let's unload it heck yeah do it to it man yeah I mean, it's, if people will let me know where they need to be, uh, I will do my very best to put them in that area. Yeah. That's a guy needed a half inch gun. Uh, he wasn't sure if he wanted the 11 or 16. Mm -hmm. He works on diesel trucks. I was like, dude, you're gonna have to have that 1600 foot pounds yeah. brake power. It's always the, like, I don't understand the people that says, I don't want one, you know, like the Milwaukee. I got the mid torque and the high torque. Mm -hmm. Piss on that bed talk. Give me all you got. Yes. Like, I'm smart enough to know it's fixing to break the bolt. Yeah. But if I want it to take something off that's tighter than, say, 500 foot pounds, I want, like, I just, you, it's just better to it have to it and not yeah, need it. Give it to me. Like, yeah. you can run that thing on one or two. and Because he started on the stumpy. Yeah. And I was like, dude. I was like, we can go out there and try real quick and see if the stumpy will be enough. But, mm -hmm. man, I, I just. Like I believe in it, but five five and a quarter foot pounds yeah. compared to like yeah. what he'll give me, need. Give me the give me the big one. You yeah, know? that's like um, we was doing a lot of big truck stuff and you know changing a lot of tires, brakes, stuff like that. And I bought an uh, Ingersoll Ram one inch. That was a good gun. Man, uh, but when I bought good. that Snap on one inch gun, the big one, yeah. it was that was money well. Like it hurt. Like I'm not gonna lie, dude. <laughs> that was a horrible feeling in my gut when i purchased that thing yeah but after i mean after that's about like his, with, his face when i told him the price and then <clears throat> we got it in his budget on on that on the larger gun i think it's the ct 9080 yeah uh but then i had to go in the shop talk to the shop manager and all that and when i go in there he's already in there using it and it, the, the look of shock went yeah. to a look of happiness. Oh, by, yeah. by the time he got in there using it, he, he was yeah. definitely pleased with, with the purchase. He just, yeah. it's always that initial shock. Yeah, that's what I tell everybody. If you can get past the, oh, woo, damn, that's high. <laughs> it's usually worth it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, the but quality is, is what tools. makes it worth it, especially yeah. with our wrenches and everything else. Cause you know, it, it's been a big deal with them. I'm sort of glad all that stir is over with, with the wrenches. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I had to break mine out so we could compare at, at a few yeah. separate shops. Like, hey, well, go get, go get them. Uh, let's, let's test them. Yeah. I ain't never found a plastic nut though. No, <laughs> no, that's, I, I, I use the, use the half. Yeah. Like we did that test, our snap on guy did. And they actually used that in that video that yeah. uh, one of them had done, I don't even remember the, the company that did it, but anyway, uh, that was the original video we did with my Snap-on dealer, and that's what I told him. I said, that's pretty cool, but hell, I ain't never, you know, never run into one plastic yeah. nuts. You know? Maybe on like yeah. a little girl's kitchenette set or something, yeah. I mean, but <laughs> even then, go. it's plastic. Your Plastic's plastic, on. boys. Yeah. All right, well, Kevin, I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys have a drier area than yeah. we do. If not, uh, come down here and get you some of seven inches of rain. For real. We're gonna get today. All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. Hit that thumbs up, check over merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You have a great one. See ya.